This is my newest desk setup, and it is the latest iteration in my nearly seven year journey now of creating the ultimate workstation and editing desk setup for my workflow. And if you've ever seen any of the desk setup videos I've made on the channel so far, then you might recognize some of the elements within this setup, but there's a whole heap of really cool upgrades that make it not only my favorite looking desk setup so far, but also the most functional by far. And so with that being said, let's unpack it. And as always, we'll start with the desk, which is probably the biggest upgrade to this setup, at least in my opinion. And for the longest time, I've had my eye on this pheasant wood sit stand desk from Desky, alongside a bunch of their really cool accessories. And I actually reached out to them to see whether they would be interested in sending me a desk for a video. And to my absolute delight, they agreed. Now, I've always loved a wide desk setup. And so accordingly, this is their largest desk size available. And man, oh man, this pheasant wood top is just absolutely gorgeous. It really suits the aesthetic of this dark workstation beautifully. And the way it subtly reflects the various lights I have throughout this setup just makes everything look amazing. It is mounted on a set of their black sit stand legs, which I've also mounted onto some of their lockable casters. I also opted for their spin keypad here, which is what you use to adjust the height of the desk. And not only does this function beautifully with options to set three memory positions, not to mention that it just feels so organic using this to adjust the height, but I also think it looks amazingly minimal as well. For this setup, I also opted to go for their integrated cable and power channel system, which is essentially an incredible solution to cable management, giving me access to eight separate power ports directly underneath the desk, but then with all of the cables tucked away neatly into the channel behind them. And once you get everything set up and in position, the end result is outrageously clean. And because of this integrated power system, it actually means you can have literally everything on your desk powered by one single power cable. And this means you can adjust the height of the desk however you like, or even move the entire desk to wherever you like, thanks to those caster wheels. And no matter where you move it to or how high or low you set it to, you'll always retain that amazing cable management. It's actually phenomenal. Besides all that, the sit stand functionality of this desk is just outrageously solid and the actual motors that lift and lower the desk are by far the smoothest I've ever experienced. And so needless to say, I love this desk. Now I'm still using the MSI Creator P100X desktop as the beast that powers this entire workstation. And it's perhaps a little outdated now thanks to the release of the RTX 40 series not too long ago. But by and large, this thing is still incredibly powerful and has worked beautifully over the past year that I've been using it. I'm not gonna unpack its specs or specific performance details as I covered that in the last desk setup video, but as you can see, what is new in regards to this PC is this contraption that it's sitting in. This is a sliding CPU mount, and I was tossing up whether or not I actually needed this given how good the MSI PC looks on the table as is, but after giving it a go, I have just loved how clean it makes the top of the desk. I've never been a fan of clutter, and so having the PC underneath the desk means that all of the various peripheral cables now run underneath the desk rather than down and then back up and into the PC. And the end result has just been a super clean setup. As you can see, I'm still using my absolute favorite chair of all time, the Aleph Jewel from Ikea. I've mentioned this in a couple of videos now, but in short, it's comfy, it looks good, and I really, really like it. And so from there, we have everything on top of the desk. Now, a lot of this stuff here is similar to what I was using in my last desk setup, like my trusty Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers or this Elgato Stream Deck Mini. And even the monitor is still the same MSI Prestige monitor, which I absolutely adore. But I'm not gonna chat about those peripherals again. I'm just gonna try and mention anything that's new here. The first of which is the keyboard. This is the Air 75 wireless mechanical keyboard from Nufi. And ever since I saw the product page on their website, I just knew I wanted this keyboard in my setup. I've actually never been a huge mechanical keyboard fan, but the look of this thing was just so dang sexy that I decided it was worth it regardless. And after using it for the past few months, I actually now really enjoy using mechanical key switches. You can choose between brown, red, or blue switches. I've got the browns, and it's actually got a metal frame, which makes it feel ultra premium. Now, for last year's setup, I just started using Delta Hub's Carpio 2.0 wrist rest, and there actually hasn't been a single day that I haven't continued using it since. And so when the team at Delta Hub asked me if I'd be interested in having them sponsor this video, I was super on board. 
If you haven't heard of it, the Carpio 2.0 is an ergonomic accessory that sits right behind your mouse, which you then rest your wrist on. In doing so, it actually raises your wrist about a centimeter, but just that centimeter alone lifts your wrist into a much better position that helps to prevent wrist injuries. And I've definitely noticed that my wrist no longer hurts during long editing sessions, which is fantastic. But what's really cool is that they've also just released their new Carpio G 2.0 wrist rest, which comes with a built-in adjustable silicon strap to keep the entire rest attached to your hand. It also has new pads designed to increase airflow and reduce palm sweating. And all of these improvements make it a perfect upgrade, particularly if you're into high intensity gaming. Delta Hub also has desk pads available on their website, including this brand new light gray color. So if you wanna check them out with the incredible Carpio wrist rests, then you can do so using the first link down in the description below. All right, aside from that, I'm still using the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, which has been a part of my setup for quite some time now. But what is new is this beautiful leather desk pad below it from Navgoods. This is their large desk pad and Navgoods are a small company based here in Australia. And they only sell the desk pads at this time, but I've seriously loved this pad and I can highly recommend it. Next to that, you'll see this small little coaster looking thing, but believe it or not, this is actually a wireless charger, again, from Desky. It comes as two separate units, a power station that attaches to the bottom of your desk, and then this little coaster pad that you align and then stick onto the top of the desk. And somehow, some way, any device can then be charged wirelessly on that pad. As I've said, I'm all about decluttering my workstation, and so having this integrated into the setup has been amazing. Next to my audio engine speaker on the left, you'll find another wireless charger as well as this on-desk power unit. And whilst the wireless charger is handy, I was actually way more interested in this on-desk power component. Not for powering anything permanently, mind you, just for those times where, let's say, I've got my laptop sitting next to me while I'm working, being able to now whip out the charger and have somewhere on the desk to plug it in is amazing. Now, one downside to this otherwise fantastic MSI monitor is that it doesn't have an inbuilt webcam. And so for the last few months, I've actually been using the Insta360 Link and this thing has been a game changer. Not only does it have fantastic image quality with up to 4K resolution and an industry leading half inch sensor, but it also packs in an HDR mode, true autofocus, perhaps the most impressive feature of all, AI tracking. This means it'll keep me in the center of the frame no matter where I move, which is seriously cool. But then on top of that mode, it also has whiteboard mode, overhead mode, and desk view mode, the latter of which can somehow capture a distortion-free top-down shot of the desk. The camera also packs in dual noise canceling mics, which captures some really decent audio quality. And up until I started using the 360 Link, I've always had to bring in my MacBook Pro to the office whenever I've had a video chat scheduled with a client. And so having this camera now in my setup has been amazing. And if you've thought about picking one up for yourself, then I can highly recommend it. Beyond that, I've also got a brand new monitor mount in this setup, which is actually another Desky product. This is their heavy duty single monitor arm for ultra wide displays. And this actually has gas springs in it, allowing for full flexibility of movement, making it really easy to reposition it however you need. And the team at Desky seriously thinks of everything because this monitor arm also has a really well integrated cable management system, which just makes the setup look so dang clean. I love this monitor arm. Just one other accessory to mention here, which is this foldable headphone hook. Again, another accessory from Desky, but this just clamps to the table and unfolds. And it's just such a nice way of keeping my headphones nearby without it being cluttered on the desk. And so finally, let's chat about the lighting accessories for this setup. And there are really four main lighting components, all of which give this setup the final pop of color and vibrance that it needs. And I can't talk about lighting without starting off with this incredible wall-mounted neon LED light. This is the RGB edition of the 40-inch music player LED neon light from Neon Signature. These guys reached out and asked if I'd be interested in checking out one of their lights. And after taking a look at some of the incredible options on their website, this was the design I opted to go for. I feel like media controls kind of suits my vibe, not only in terms of technology, but also given that this is my video editing workstation. And seriously team, I just love how nice this light looks in this setup. Next up, we have this beautiful Palatina clock lamp. And my golly, how cool does this thing look? Not only does it look outrageously clean and elegant as just a lamp itself, but it's also an analog clock, which I just reckon is such a neat addition to the desk. 
And then add on to that that it's also dimmable and by color and get this that it also has a spot for wirelessly charging a supported device. And man, just take my money. I love this lamp. Second to last is this BenQ screen bar reading lamp, which sits right on top of my MSI monitor. And I actually love the extra layer of lighting this adds to my desk, particularly whenever it's a bit darker in my office. And then the final light we have here is this small LED RGB strip on the back of the desk. And this just ties everything together nicely. I seriously reckon lighting can make or break a desk setup and I particularly think that having no lighting is what can wreck an otherwise amazing setup and so I'm really happy with different lighting elements at play in this setup. And so there you have it, that is my latest desk setup. As always, links to everything have been included down in the description below. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching, thank you to Delta Hub for supporting the channel and I will catch you later.